Okay, so hopefully the wind noise won't be too bad. I'm trying to use a, a red uh, wireless go to and I have a dead cat on the lav mic. So it will be interesting to see if if it works. I'm also using the latest firmware update on the RUD uh, wireless to go, which allows you to uh, record in like a normal format and not their pro proprietary blah, not the RUD weird format that you need to use the software for. Um, I tried this yesterday in like a overcast weather. It was pretty, pretty gray and uh, not exactly bright. And uh, the stabilizer on the camera was terrible. So I'm gonna try again now with this more bright sunlight and with a external mic so hopefully it's better today um, <laughs> kind of disappointing my first run with the camera yesterday so we'll see if it's better today Also, I'm not even sure if the RUD microphone is actually uh, recording. <laughs> so that's something that will be interesting when I get back home. Um, I brought with me the Sony A7 Mark IV with a Samyang 18 millimeter F28 uh, fixed prime lens, uh, very light setup and a very wide angle. So it's nice to to bring it for just landscape shots and yeah. not super sharp but it's sharp enough and this isn't like a super high megapixel body either so <sighs> we'll see if the horizon level uh, Stabilize, stabilizer actually works today. Also, it's pretty windy here, so <laughs> and giving the road mic a real workout here, I guess. Six, maybe. This was the spot that was the most windy yesterday and the wind noise was pretty bad. And uh, now it's even more windy today, so. 
We'll see how this turns out. I've never used the uh, Rode Wireless without a receiver before, so I really hope this works. Let's see here. Can better get a better angle on this and not fall backwards into the water. Also, I have no idea how the camera is exposing this. Pretty much, I think it's all in oil. Also decreased the frame rate compared to yesterday, down to 4K30. So that way, the camera and the stabilizer should be able to gather more light. But we'll see if I made a shit purchase or not with this camera. If I end up having to use like a like a gyro, uh, like a handheld gimbal, then this kind of defeats the purpose of having one small camera to just throw into your bag. In the previous recording, it gets all blurry and weird for every single step. So, basically, it becomes useless. But I also up updated the firmware on the, on the camera, so maybe they have done some interesting tricks to try and get it up, getting it up and running better the old stabiliz stabilizer but I don't know
At least if <laughs> I end up with the wrong settings every single day, <laughs> I'll get in better shape by doing these test walks every single day, trying to dial in the, the settings. <sighs> Silver linings and all that, right? <sighs> Blueberry bushes. Sadly, not blueberry season yet. I didn't even put it on like a like a flat profile it's just straight out of the camera just to mess around as little as possible and see how the camera handles everything on auto It's pretty dark, um, so I'll be curious to see how the stabilizer handles that. <sighs> Cute bridge. And scary downhill. Lots of roots and shit you can trip over and roll down into the river, so that's nice. Let's see if we can get some more interesting angles on this this bridge. A portrait picture to get to get the trees.
maybe get a picture of the lumber here. Generally, if something catches my eye, I just take a picture of it because it's not like the film days. <laughs> Don't have to worry that much. And if it catches your eye, then it's worth taking a picture of it. And if it's shit afterwards, then <laughs> you just delete it. in the water. It's not the best lens for like capturing specific subjects. But you can get a little closer and try to put it in context and the rest of the nature here. Uh, not great, but something. Uh, and now for the steep hill. Really pretty with the the blueberry bushes. In contrast to the brown. I really like this. Kinda. I don't even know the English word for it. Stone wall. <laughs>
Stepping on these tree roots, I'm just afraid to twist my ankle. <laughs> Wouldn't be fun to limp all the way back through this forest. forest. view over the water. Go a bit further down. It's interesting to try panning shots and see if the stabilizer is just working against it and make taking like pushing and pulling and making it all jittery. I used the GoPro uh, 7 in Italy and uh, when I got home and checked the footage it was just all jerky and weird. The image stabilizer desperately trying to keep it steady and ruining all the panning shots. So that was a bummer. portrait picture to get a more sense of the scale how tall the trees are kind of nice with the 18 millimeter lens that you can get a, and get a very dramatic perspective
kind of sucks though that if you like see a subject that you really want to capture, then the 18 millimeter isn't really a good lens. Like more to capture the feel of a place and not not a subject. If that makes any sense. But yeah, there's pros and cons with every focal length. And this is just like a really nice walking around lens because it's so light. It's like, I don't know, 100 grams or something like that, 110 grams. So it doesn't really matter if it dangles from your neck, unless you walk for hours of course, but all in all it's just a really nice drag along lens. Then you don't really want to plan out your trip. usually end up with some decent pictures anyways at least if you have some nice scenery then you're you're able to kind of catch the catch the mood and the feeling of the place nice. It's like a green path going along the water. Lower. This is the end of the trail, more or less. This is for you. So it's like a like a 30 minute walk if you take your time. Oh. <sighs> 